Hello there and welcome to my channel Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. Uh, I'm just going to do you a quick update on my um, Academy 12528 US Air Force B29 Enola Gay or Boxcar, which I was actually hoping to uh, finish Enola Gay for today because obviously the 6th of August being its um, rather, rather historic journey I suppose you could call it. Um, unfortunately, this is a much, much, much bigger kit than what I'm used to, you know, with sort of messing around with sort of single engine and twin engine um, aircraft being a novice. So this has proved um, a bit of a step too, too, way too far for me, unfortunately. So this is basically as far as I've managed to get. Um, I have actually had a few issues with this. Um, I mean, obviously, if you watch some of the previous um, videos that I've done, you will be aware of my the issues that I had with the um the Bombay doors here, which I had to um kind of jerry rig because they kept on collapsing on themselves. I've also had issues here and here where there was a um a mounting installed for the um remote control machine guns which were removed on boxcar and um and Ola Gay. Uh, which required cutting, which was something that I've never experienced before, and I've made a bit of a bit of a bodge job at. Um, I actually had to wait for the paint to turn up. It was a little bit later than anticipated, so that also put me back a little bit. Um, it's actually taken a whole a whole pot of um, XF sixteen flat aluminium to actually get it this far, and the painting is. I mean, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it, to be honest with you, but it kind of looks a bit sort of patchy in areas, especially on the wings. So, you know, I probably could have put another coat on it, but I'm thinking that maybe what my main problem was is I was actually using a um, smaller needle on the airbrush, so maybe I should have swapped it out for a larger one, but I only actually realised that when I'd done the uh, started putting the, um, the the gloss varnish on it. Uh, plus, obviously, I was working in the garage, and the garage isn't it doesn't really offer the best opportunity for lighting. So, um, yeah, so we've had a few problems anyway. But this is where we're at. So we've got our Enola Gay um, nose art on, and <laughs> another problem I actually had with this, which is quite amusing. Somehow, I actually managed to attach this this engine here upside down. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I managed that. But um, what I actually had to to do, which kind of kind of really sort of stumbled with me last week, was that yesterday was actually actually get this uh, mini saw out, and I actually had to cut the damn thing off and re-glue it back on. So it's kind of at a slightly not great angle as well. So I mean, all these things put together have left left me in this situation where this is not going to be perfect because of several reasons, and I'm kind of like I just want to get it finished now and get it done as as well as I can. Um, another issue that I've had is I've actually uh, managed to scratch it. This scratch here was done when I was um, cutting this engine off. And I've actually put some black marks on it here because I've been using the the box as a uh, sort of jig to put it on. And as you can see, obviously the uh, varnish wasn't quite set and I've turned it over. And I've put it on these edges here with the black paint and the black paint has transferred to the wing. So, yeah, a bit of a silly mistake there. So, yeah, so that's where we're actually at. Um, I'm actually putting the schedule back and I'm kind of hoping that, well, I'm going to have this finished for the 9th of August when obviously um, the second bomb was um, dropped by a boxcar. So what I'm actually thinking of doing, Kind of, it's kind of a, an irregular odd thing to do because you know it's not the proper thing to do at the end of the day. But seeing as I actually wanted to do this as an Ola again, I haven't managed to do it. But I'm hoping to finish it in time for when Boxcar went on its mission. What I'm thinking is I'm actually going to do it an Ola Gay on this side. So it's the number eighty two with the R. They're very plain at the end of the day, so it doesn't really sort of make that much difference. I don't think. What I think I'll do is on the other side, I'm going to put the N on the tail and I'm going to put the boxcar logo on this side and number 77. And then put the rest of the um, relevant decals on, including this uh, 
probably half of the red stripe on this side because Boxcar had this red stripe going around the fuselage. So that's kind of what I'm going to think I'm going to do with it now because, well, I suppose it's my model. I can do what I want with it, really. Like, you know, but it kind of kind of makes sense that I wanted to do it one way, but I haven't managed to do it in time because it's been a bit sort of beyond me. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to go. Um, a couple of interesting little points that I have uh, found. Um, really, the only problem I've really come with the actual moulding of the kit is this. These front wheels here had some um, some pin marks in them, so I filled them in with some Vallejo putty, and I'm going to file those down. Um, my landing gear, because I didn't really want it to be the same colour as the main body itself. I've mixed some XF-16 with some gun metal and I put it in a jar. It's gone a bit black actually. And I came up with this color here, which is sort of a darker variant. I was kind of hoping for some black speckles to appear on this. So it's kind of looks sort of um, oily or whatever, but that hasn't quite happened, but it's got quite a nice sort of darker color. So I think I mixed that about sort of 25% gun metal and 75% flat aluminium. So I've got some more that I can use now because I don't, I don't really like having everything the same colour. Um, additionally, the uh, wheel, the wheels for the um, wing mounted um, landing gears, I decided to paint in this uh, chrome silver. Again, just to give us some slight colour variants. Um, the decal sheet is provided with yellow uh, tips for the uh, propellers. These are the correct propellers for Boxcar and an older gay with these little extra segments on. But I prefer to paint them. I mean, I don't know what other people's experiences are with putting these things on, but they look like a bit of a nightmare to me. It seems a lot easier just to put yellow paint on them and then cover, cover the rest in black. So that's kind of what I've decided to do. So um, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, so like I say, unfortunately, I didn't quite finish it in time. But we're well on the way. And hopefully we're going to have it finished by the 9th. So please do like and subscribe. Uh, please do um, join me for the rest of my model building round. And do check out some of my other 200 odd videos that are on YouTube at the moment. So uh, be seeing you.